hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much again for coming back and if you're a new uh, subscriber thanks for clicking on this video um, in this video I'll be sharing with you guys my thoughts on the Afoji two-step protein treatment um, in an old video I spoke about how my hair was very mushy and I really needed to figure out how to um, combat that because as a low porosity natural girl I noticed that I was a bit afraid of protein treatment so in the past I used to use avocado and coconut milk but because of my fear of protein overload I ended up putting a little bit of honey in it and that left my hair really mushy um, so I know normally people worry about protein overload I actually got moisture overload and I was suffering from something called high growth fatigue and I talked about how I really want to combat that anyways I moved away from using DIYs and ended up trying to search for a proper protein treatment and just wanted to use it once to see how that how it would change my hair and if I really would suffer from protein overload just because I'm a um, low porosity girl so um, if you'd like to see my thoughts if you like to see how I use it, please keep watching. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and then continue watching. Thank you. Hi guys. So um, I'm going to be using, maybe you can see this, the Afoji, um two-step protein treatment. I just washed my hair. Um, and I'm going to be putting it into a spray bottle because it's much easier to apply that way. So I can't open it. <laughs> okay. And this should not really be enough for my whole head. We'll see. So I think it tangled my hair, so it's really the tangle. So that's because it normally says on the bottle that you can actually use like you apply it and then use a white to comb. I'm gonna see if I need it really. If I don't need it, I'm not gonna do it. Just spray, spray like you would if you're applying. Uh, what's it called? Your leave-in conditioner, basically. Just spray it all over. It's really sticky guys so be aware of that um, that's why I've set up a towel here underneath and I'm wearing an old t-shirt because something that I don't really care if it gets sticky so I normally do this in my bathroom but yeah for now I'm doing it here focus on your ends a lot you see how detangled my hair is and there's no real need to put a brush that's that what you should M4 basically. So I'm done applying it all to my hair. It's the thing simple. is with um, this product, it gets really, um, what's the word, sticky. Like I said, it was sticky, so then it gets really, really dry and hard. So your hair gets so stiff and you have to be so careful. So it says do not put a plastic cap on and sit under a hooded dryer. I don't have a hooded dryer, so I'm going to be using my hand dryer. Sit on the hooded dryer for 20 minutes. I'm going to see how long it takes for this to dry because it just needs to dry and then um, I can wash it off. Let me turn around so you can see how it looks from the back. So you see, it gets, it gets so sticky. My whole body is so sticky. My hands are so sticky. Everything is sticky. Um, I'm not sure if the towel really helps me, but we'll see. Anyways. Thank you. 
so that's it guys that's how the hair looks now it shrunk so much of course let me turn around so you can see the back again it's 90 percent dry to be fair so now i'm just going to wait a few more minutes and then i'm going to wash it off and i'm going to be washing it off using the um balancing moisturizer which it says um once you're done basically putting the the first part on your hair and it's dry then you go into the shower rinse it off and then apply this for like two minutes and then rinse after two so i'm just going to do that and then i'll follow up with my dish deep conditioner after that so um i'll come show you guys what my hair looks like once everything is rinsed out and washed with this so you can see um the results basically and i'm back washed I'll show you guys how what my hair looks like i think that for me is the main thing you can you can feel how strong the strands are and it's not just you just feel it i used to have so mushy hair but mine is now elastic but strong let me give you a close-up can you see some shine too yeah i really really love this product so i've been using it for three times three times now this is the third time using it so i'm really impressed and happy with it i totally recommend it but i also say please be careful because honestly your hair is going to feel like cardboard not even cardboard <sighs> i don't know how to explain it it's just going to feel very cracky so um if you're not careful you can actually break it when it's drying when the product is on and it's drying off so please be careful about it but so far i really i'm so impressed with the product so impressed so now i'm going to go apply my um dip conditioner and yeah thank you guys so much for sticking around Thank you so much for watching. I hope you um, enjoyed the video. Have you tried this product before? If you haven't, um, let me know. If you have, let me know and if it's worked for you. There are other um, products out there. Maybe you can also share with me what your best protein treatment is. If it's not this one, let me know. Or are you still a DIY? Let me know too. Bye, guys.